What's going on, Lee Jim Beast and my fellow Go High Level Entrepreneurs? We got a fun one today. We're doing a tutorial on how to do the A2P registration, which is now mandatory. This is required. You have to do this and you want to do this as soon as possible. I can't remember the exact date, like when this, like the deadline is that you need to be registered before it starts impacting your text message deliverability, but you just, you want to get this done as soon as possible. Uh, one of the first, it should be one of the first things you do when you open a new sub account uh, inside of Go High Level. So basically what's happening is carriers like T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T have all got together. They have, they're now requiring the, uh, this type of registration for all businesses. This is not a Go High Level thing, guys. This is the carriers requiring businesses that are sending some type of text message to consumers or uh, leads, prospects, whatever, to register. Otherwise, it is going to have a very negative impact on your deliverability, all right? So while this is kind of a pain, it just adds more work to uh, you know to our already busy schedule. It's not that big of a deal. It, it's not hard to do. I'm gonna walk you through step by step. It's just like uh, putting a couple of messages that you send to people as example, like example messages that you send, putting in your business information, and that's pretty much it. it it's uh, what they're doing is just trying to reduce spam. So this could, this is in the long run going to play to our benefit. This, this is going to benefit our business and our agencies, et cetera, because it's going to weed out all the, the stupid, all the crappy spam and, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, anybody who doesn't register, well, they're going to get left behind. And while it does create more work, uh, it's going to be an advantage. Uh, kind of like uh, like Facebook ads, you know, if you run Facebook ads, all the stupid updates that they've done over the long run, but it ends up uh, being beneficial because it weeds out a lot of your competition and, you know, it just, uh, it, it allows you to get to the next level. So anyways, not a, not a huge deal. You just got to make sure you get it done. I'm going to link down to, uh, in the description to the original Go High Level training on this, where they walk you through step by step. They provide a lot more information, like details on what this is. If you want to go through that, I do recommend it. So you leave, uh, uh, just, you have a good solid understanding of, of what this is, but I just want to walk you through the process really quick. Uh, I've got some, I took screenshots of the process so I could show this to you uh, pretty easily. So um, what you need to do is uh, you're going to go to settings and then click on phone numbers and then trust center. That's where you're doing all this. And you'll see right here where it says start registration. I actually just got approved, which is awesome. I thought this was going to take a lot longer. Um, I, I guess they just uh, they have a good streamlined process. Now, there is one one additional factor here that I want to mention uh, in this process is I already had my business profile submitted. I think that has something to do with it. Even when I chose the option to use uh, to register with my EIN number, uh, it didn't even ask me for my EIN number. It didn't ask me for my business address or really any information about my business at all. And I think it's because I already had my business profile submitted, which you do want to do this anyways. So if you don't have this done, uh, make sure you submit uh, for, for this as well. And it seems to make this registration process go a lot faster because uh, it, you already have the business profile approved. And basically the, the, what the business profile is, if, again, if you go to settings, click on business profile, you just wanna make sure you have all of this information accurately filled out as much as you possibly, well, you need everything filled out, otherwise you're just not gonna be able to submit it. So uh, make sure you get that done as well. All these are really good trust factors and are gonna help with your deliverability over the long run. So you need to make sure you're doing that. but. What you're going to do is click on, uh, where did I go there? There we go. Uh, start registration. All right. You're going to get two options. You've got, yes, I'm registering with an EIN number. No, I'm not. And from what I got from the go, go high level training, which again, check out in the description on this specific topic. What I got from it is you can, if you don't have an EIN number right now, you don't have an LLC or whatever. That's fine. You can, from what I understand, you can register an EIN number later when you get one, which is recommended from what was told. I think uh, you are going to eventually need to do that. I don't know if it's going to be required, but again, it comes down to deliverability. If you, you your deliverability will be better as, uh, as far as your text messages going through if you register with an EIN. Now, you don't have to, and if you don't, uh, it's actually supposed to be a much faster process. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute, 
But you have two options here. Let me close off Facebook. They're sending message right now. All right. So choose which one. If you don't have an EIN, choose this one right here. Choose the second option. All right. And it's uh, supposed to be a little bit of a faster process. Uh, anyways, there is a cost to this. This is one time cost. It's weird because uh, you can't. I didn't have the option to select one uh, either. I think you just do both because you're you're registering the brand and the campaign. So there is going to be a cost to this. There could be additional fees as well, uh, depending on volume. But I think you have to be sending uh, like thousands and thousands of text messages every day for this to like really kick in. So I don't think this is going to be a huge issue uh, unless you're doing something like that. I don't know why that would be the case, but. Anyways, there is a small cost to this. Just as what it is, cost of doing business, guys. All right, the the use case. And now this is when uh, I've selected the EIN option. Uh, you do still need to choose a use case, but I think it's a, the options are a little bit different. I just left it on low volume mixed. Uh, I don't think it makes a huge difference which one you select. Just select the one that's most appropriate for you. I whoops, I felt like uh, low volume mixed just made sense. All right, because uh, it's basically encompassing all the different use cases in the drop down menu. Now, the campaign use case description, this is what I put, and I'll, uh, I'll link down to this document uh, down below. I put all this stuff uh, that, that I put, um, I because I did both. I did, I registered one sub account without an EIN, and I registered my account because I do have an EIN. All right, this one is, is without it, but it, it's like, I, I pretty much did the same type of messages here because because basically what it's asking is uh, describe why you're why you're registering like what kind of marketing are you doing what why are you sending text messages to people it's just asking for a description for that and then it asks for sample messages later uh, and I basically just said this campaign sends appointment confirmation and reminders it sends long term follow up emails even though that has nothing to do with it I'm just trying to provide a, a detailed description of what my business does after people opt in. So we send educational content. We do send occasional uh, text messages to people who have opted in to a Facebook lead form or a form requesting some type of free checklist or masterclass or PDF, whatever. Again, letting them know that I'm not just randomly sending messages to people that have never heard of me before. People are requesting information from me. They're providing their name, email, and phone number. And, and then we start sending the messages. I also, I think this, this is important too. Obviously don't say this as if this is not the case for your business, but I, I mentioned that there's rarely, if ever, any links in the text messages being sent. I do think that's a big deal because if you think about it, a lot of the spam messages that go through, they have links in them. I'm not saying that it's bad to send links or that you can't do it or that it's going to impact your registration here, getting approved. Uh, I just, I hardly ever send links in my text messages. Uh, the way I do it, just a little side bonus training here for you guys, is I send links in the email and then I'll send a text letting them know that I just sent a link in the email. Check your email, check your spam folder. That's how I do it. You don't have to do it that way. I'm just letting you know what I do in my business. All right, so that's the campaign use case description. You're just letting them know, like, what what are the common reasons you send text messages to people after they opt in? All right. Next step. Uh, and this is uh, th this process is very similar whether you're doing EIN or no EIN. I, really, the only difference is uh, with the EIN, you're putting in your business information, you like your address. You've got to make sure. Again, I got this from the original Go High Level training on this topic on this A2P stuff. Is you've got to make sure that the address that you registered with the IRS to get your EIN number, it has to be the same exact address that you put in this registration form. Not a big deal, but um, if you go back to your email and look up you know, IRS, EIN number, confirmation, whatever, they send you a document with all that information. Just make sure you're, doing, you're using that same exact uh, address um, that you submitted to the IRS with the EIN number. That's what I got from the Go High Level training. And like I said too, <clears throat> I already have my business profile submitted, so I was approved almost instantly. So if you have that done already, you're a, a step ahead in the game, apparently. All right, sample messages. They're just asking for examples of messages that you actually sent. So an easy way to do this is just to go into your workflows, copy a couple of the, or like grab a couple of the text messages that you sent. You're going to paste them in. 
And uh, also what I did though is, uh, so like here's an example, sample message one. <clears throat> Typically when people opt in for stuff in my marketing systems, I send a confirmation text letting them know that they'll receive whatever they requested shortly. Check your spam folder just in case. I mean, that's what I'm doing right here. And then I do have an additional call to action. Make sure you also request this. You know, in this case, it's a free custom business funding plan. There'd be a link in the checklist, blah, blah, blah. I'm just, you know, I'm just uh, kind of guiding them through the, the process uh, after they opt in. And then I put my, my name and then the business name. And then this, this right here, reply, stop to unsubscribe. That should go out automatically with every first text that you send in Go High Level. Uh, that is, uh, again, if you go to business profile, these should be checked uh, automatically. If not, make sure that this is on, but it automatically puts in the first text, reply, stop to unsubscribe. So you shouldn't have an issue with that. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. So I just, I, I copy this. Uh, where's, there we go. I put that in the first uh, sample message. You see here, it says must include your business name. I already do that anyways. And then sample message two must include an uh, opt out keyword. It already does that. Stop to unsubscribe. So I just grab, basically you're just grabbing two different original, like first text messages that you, you, that you first send out to people after opting in. And that's what I'm sending here. You could also do like your appointment confirmation uh, text messages as well. But just make sure that it has the reply stop to unsubscribe and it's got your name and business name in there. Or at the very least your business name. Uh, let's see, down here at the bottom, the message will include embedded links. Like I just said, I don't send links in this. And then I also don't put my phone number uh, in in the text message anyways. I'm not really sure why you would do that because the text is the phone number. But, uh, you know, if you're having, if you're sending a different phone number, then fine. You just have to check this box uh, if that is the case. Wasn't the case for me, so I left it. All right. Uh, let's see. Now, also, guys... I need to, I need to mention, I feel like I need to mention this. <clears throat> Don't copy and paste my messages, please. Customize this. If like you need to, I, you know, I might not even link this <laughs> because that I could just, I could see people copy and pasting these messages exactly, not paying attention and accidentally submitting my stuff. I suppose that, you know, it's not the end of the world, but here's the thing is if you don't get approved, they go through and, and actually sometimes I don't know if this is a completely manual process that carriers are doing. But if you put messages in here that have nothing to do with what your business offers, that could hurt you in the long run. So please, please, please don't just copy and paste this. Customize these messages if you are going to use them to your business. I would say all your, go into your workflow, copy and paste the messages you're already sending. Don't use mine, but I just want to show you mine to give you an example. All right, next. Uh, end, end user consent. How do end users consent to receive messages? All right, so what did I put there? Uh, let's see, end users consent to receive message a couple of ways. Uh, Facebook ads where they submit a lead form to receive one of our free checklists. I like to describe like a, how we're, or why people are submitting the forms, right? Checklists, guides, custom plans, whatever your lead magnet is. Uh, if you're not doing Facebook ads, obviously don't do that. Uh, we tell them, uh, th I think this is, uh, for me, this is the important part. We tell them before they submit the form with their name, email, and phone number that we will be sending them emails and text messages and that they can opt out at any time. And you do want to make sure that you add that to your Facebook lead forms, uh, to your forms on your web pages as well. What I've been doing is just adding a little bit of text below the form saying, hey, you're also going to receive uh, occasional educational emails and text messages that provide really good training tools, resources to help you grow your business. Uh, uh, but you can opt out at any time. I just, I put that message uh, below the form and that's it. Like we're just letting people know that they're going to receive communication and I got to prove no problem. So, uh, but yeah, you need to explain how people are consenting. Uh, don't overcomplicate it. I don't think it's a big issue. You know, just, in all of your marketing, just let people know. Like uh, some people will put a checkbox, like, hey, I consent to receive text messages and stuff. I don't think that's necessary. That That is an extra layer of security for your registration, like your registration and, you know, stuff like that. But I don't think that's necessary. I didn't put that and I got approved, no issue. All right, opt-in keywords. I just put start. 
I tried to originally explain that I don't really use this because like we're already like people are subscribing to get this uh, to receive this communication by filling out the form. Why would they send start to to actually subscribe? They already subscribe. They don't want an explanation. Just put start or subscribe. Uh, if you use actual keywords for that, like, you know, text, get started to, you know, receive this lead magnet. If you do something like that, then that's, I think that's where that would come in, but I don't do that anyway. So just put start or subscribe. Opt-in message must contain the business name and opt-out keyword. Again, I just put one of my <clears throat> confirmation text messages after somebody books an appointment or opts in to a, lead, uh, to a form. That's, that's what I put. Your checklist will be in your email shortly. Check your spam folder. Let me know if you want me to also put together a free custom business funding plan. And then I've got the name, business name, and then the unsubscribe option right there. That's it. You know, um, I don't think... Uh, so, and I mean, they give you examples here and go high level. You are successfully opted in. Uh, I just... That doesn't make any sense if people just opt in from the lead form. I'd rather just send them a message like this, like... Uh, Hey, you'll receive your checklist shortly, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, I'm just sharing what worked for me. And then from there, uh, everything gets submitted. You're good to go. Now with the, if you're, if you don't have an EIN number, what it's going to do is it's going to ask, uh, it's going to send you a one-time password. Uh, uh, it's going to send you a one-time text. You just reply yes to that text. And then you should get approved very shortly after, assuming that, you know, you didn't put any crazy messages in there. That's the process for no EIN. It's a lot. Uh, it's a little bit shorter with the EI. If you do have an EIN, you're putting your EIN number, your business name. I just uh, I didn't. I wasn't able to get screenshots of that because I already had. I think it's because I already had my business profile submitted. So it just took that information and used that for the registration. So um, the really where that would only be an issue is if your address has been updated. Obviously, do that first in your business profile and then do this registration. But uh, <clears throat> if you don't have the business profile submitted, then uh, you could just do it from scratch there. So anyways, I hope that helps, guys. Uh, don't make too big of a deal out of this. Just get the registration done. All right, make sure, like, take your time. Make sure the information that you provide is accurate. It's up to date. And, you know, uh, you're, you take a couple of the messages, text messages in your current workflows Use those as the samples and, you know, the opt-in stuff. You should be okay. All right. Just make sure you get it done. All right. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Hopefully it helps. Get that done. Hope you keep crushing it. Talk to you in the next one.